two. Welcome back, WNST, Tassel, Baltimore, and WNST.net. We are on the set at Super Bowl Fifty Four. We um we we wish the Ravens were here, and uh, but we are we're getting through it here in Miami. All of it brought to you by our friends at Liberty Pure and our friends at Raskin Global. Chris Carter joining us on the set. I've never I've never spoken to you before, so I appreciate you coming by. And you're Natalie attired today. You look like you're on the TV set, man. They told me you have us. Big TV show, man. I, I wasted the outfit. <laughs> you got you got all dressed up for me, man. You're on video. <laughs> you're, you're a video. We got video. you right here, there man. You go. You're all right. I'm sitting back. It, 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 bat, yeah, look bat, in there. Looking sharp. Check my hair. Do the whole deal. <laughs> uh, you know, I don't know you at all. I know you through TV and football okay. and being a season ticket holder with the Eagles back in the day. And I ran into Rob Ryan at the media party. And I just wanted, whenever I think of you, Buddy Ryan loved you. I did a TV show with Buddy Ryan in 1997 for one year, me, him, and Lawrence Taylor. And he would just always talk about you when he found you and you where you are and his pride in what you became as a human being. You know I mean? I, I, I've always said if I ever had you on, I was going to ask you about that. Well, I mean, I, I do appreciate it. Um, it was one of the things. It was not a bright moment in my life being released, but it was a reality check for me. And I was able to utilize that release into um, going on an amazing journey. And September 21st this year will be my 30th year being sober. So Buddy That's Ryan, awesome. I can count that to his credit. Um, a lot of other people have helped me along the way. So when I think of Buddy Ryan, I don't think about the football. I think about the catastrophic changes that I had to make in my life because of his decision to release me from the Eagles. So I'm very, very happy as far as what I went through. Well, where you are right now? Give me. You're here for sleep number. And I got to tell. <laughs> all the years in the media center, rooms are expensive down here in South Beach now, right? So yes. I thought to myself, if we get thrown out on Thursday night, why do I want to go out to the Miami airport? Mm. I got a pass, and I figured I'd just go over there and I figure <laughs> out what my number is because I don't know my sleep number. It's the best display that we have on Radio Row <laughs> because you can sleep in it. Yes, you take and what well, a thing about it, even if if that bed's not available. I live about 40 miles from here, and I got a couple <laughs> sleep numbers at my house. Well, Baldinger so, put me up a couple weeks ago, so if he can put me up, you can put me there up. There you go. So, yeah, but, 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 but Baldy's not sleeping with all those injuries and all those surgeries. He had. Baldy needs a sleep number for himself because if you look <laughs> at true wealth and wellness, there's three components, and that's food, nutrition, that's exercise, and the last component people don't even talk about, well, how much sleep are you getting? And – is it possible for you to be able to monitor the quality of your sleep? And that's what you do have with sleep number. My wife, I love her to death. I'm going to sleep in the same bed with her, but we got two, two beds in one. Well, how's the numbers work? So give me, give me. Well, typically, I'm going to be a little bit higher. My wife is a little bit lower. She likes it spongier? So, or yeah, no? She likes it a little spongier okay. and everything because she's a smaller. She's 5'4". What is it? Is it air? Is it, it, what, what, what makes the number happen underneath? Yes, yes, All right. yes, absolutely, the, the air. You have to... I just I just moved from Connecticut. I had to call a whole unit over. It's like, hey man, what do I do with this bed? And they were like, it's just air in there. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> I thought I had I had a whole operation. I had like four people to come over to, to take it apart and everything. But the settings on the bed are amazing. I always thought I should have firm settings and everything. And as I've gotten older, I realized that they are a lot softer, more conforming to my body. And are you a side deep, sleeper, back sleeper, belly there sleeper? You go. What are you? See, you have to analyze all, all right, that. So, so you have done some research. No, I, I, research happens like I'm a like side athlete, sleeper, when, but I got a bad shoulder. No, but when you wake up and it hurts, that's when the research begins. That's when you're like, well, what am I doing? So I was having this problem in my elbow, and I went to the, the, the specialist, and he said, when you're sleeping, he said, I, he said, how do you sleep? I'm like, I sleep like this. You know, I sleep on my face. I sleep like this. He's like, no, you don't. He said, I bet you sleep like this. And yes. I'm like, and I'm like, I don't sleep like this. I said, nobody sleeps like this. And I, and I, sw my wife took a picture of me, and I'm oh. sleeping like this. Yes. And he gave me this wrist thing that keeps my arm from doing that in the middle of the night. So the, the places you put your arms, right? That was. Screw my elbow up. I thought I was going to need elbow surgery. I, I couldn't pick up a pot or a pan because I was sleeping wrong. So now I yep. sleep on my back like Shavasana. Baldy got me into yoga, yep. right? Absolutely. So I sleep on my back now. Yep. And I so just, do I. I've just tried to get good at it because I've been a belly sleeper for 50. I'm 51. I was a side sleeper, and I'm 54. In the just last 12 great. months, I've started to go on my back because it, good. it makes me feel better. Good. Now, that's double A. I hate it. If you want to go up to the majors, you need to get a sleep number, though. It's like when I went to sleep on your back. I didn't, didn't want to do that. All know? right? Yeah. So make sleep number. We got two thousand. 
last two years, 2,000 NFL players are utilizing it. So not only do we have the current players, we have the gridiron greats, we got the Hall of Famers. We got it covered as well, far Nestor as people Well, Nestor and Luke want to use it tonight if we get thrown out of our hotel because yeah. you got a better bed than the one I got <laughs> down on the Strip. It is nice. Chris Carter, so show me your ring, man. Show me, tell me, tell me. <sighs> that nice? What's that mean? I don't have a Super Bowl. I don't have a Super Bowl ring, and I typically don't wear this a lot. Well, you're not wearing Some, your yellow jacket either. No, that's later in the week. I got a couple no, of appearances. No, Woodson comes by and whatnot, and he's like the most unhall of fame Hall of Famer ever. You know, it's just like when you're not wearing jackets, you're like dudes. When you wear jackets, it's, it's sort of like the Hall of Justice. Like it feels like Superman. I, I can't talk to you anymore. Yeah, this is just a warm up. I got a couple other things I'm doing later <laughs> in the week jackets. that that are going. The the jacket will will be out for that. But it's a it's an amazing accomplishment, and the reason why I wore it this trip was because I wanted to remember my friend Chris Doman. He's a guy that recruited me at University of Pittsburgh. That tried to come play there. I ended up going to Ohio State, but we played a lot together there in Minnesota, and he passed away last night. I decided this morning I opened up the box and said I'm going to put my ring on and wear it in tribute to my friend. So, man, a lot of bad news in sports the last four or five days. We've been missing two great men, Kobe Bryant on Sunday with that tragic, him and his daughter Gigi and the rest of those people. Our condolences out to all of those families that were affected. And then last night we lost another great man in Chris Doman. Nice of you to remember that because we haven't brought that up yet today. I appreciate that. Chris Carter here, the Hall of Famer. Let's talk some football, man. The Ravens weren't here, and he's disappointed. I'm disappointed. Are you surprised at what happened to the Ravens in the way that it happened to them? No, I'm not surprised. And towards the end of my career when Randy Moss was there, two of, two of the first three years Randy Moss was in Minnesota, we went to the NFC Championship game. Brian Billick reminded me of that a few minutes and, ago. And, 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 and lost both of them. So to say that a young team – would get in the playoffs and not we've seen that Peyton Manning with the Colts underperforming Aaron Rodgers underperforming in the playoffs. the playoffs are tough and to say that lack of playoff experience or years and years of playoff experience doesn't come into play you would be missing a lot of what the NFL is about Drew Brees last couple play three three years in a row sure. coming up a little bit short the playoffs are tough Lamar that organization, the coaching staff, they are on the right track. They have to develop their wide receivers on the outside because people are starting to play in a box and leaving the outsides available. So Marquise Brown this year he had a bad foot. He was never 100%. Next year he will have an amazing year, and Lamar needs to continue to grow regardless of what happened in that playoff game. Continue to groom yourself, and next year he'll take even that next step. Were you surprised at the gigantic step Lamar took this year? I mean, I, 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 I was he, no, no. I was surprised with throwing the ball. Sure, yeah, I was no. I was absolutely, and I was. And I'm not going to say I was surprised surprised in Greg Roman because I knew he could come up with sure. the, the scheme, but to utilize it and to teach it, I was so impressed with what they taught him, and how they were not dumbing the game down. He was reading it out and making the right reads all throughout the season. We didn't see it in the playoffs, but I, I guarantee it will continue in the 2020 season. This is a good football game, right? Uh, oh, I mean, absolutely. I, all things aside, we wish we were in it and all this, but as far as an evenly matched football game to sit here for a week and talk about, it's one of the better football games with fresh blood, fresh uniforms, fresh characters, Andy Reid, John Lynch. I mean, this game's got a lot to offer. Yeah, it's got great storylines. It's got great players, and we might have one of the all-time greats in Patrick Mahomes. Is this the stage that he takes off? We know what he did last year's regular season, came back this year where he could never duplicate what he did in 19, and, man, had an amazing year. Does he utilize this Super Bowl as the platform to be the next Tom Brady, to be the next Drew Brees, to be the next Aaron Rodgers? I do believe that Patrick Mahomes is the leader of the next quarterback or next ultra superstars that we have in the NFL. Pretty fun era to see some of these young guys doing their thing. Yeah, of course. Guys, guys like Lamar and Deshaun Watson, I mean, the mobility they bring, but also the I mean, NFL is about stars, it too. man. Sure, it's sure. about stars and it's about coaches and organizations not trying to bend players to what right. they want to do, but come up with a system. 99% of all the players that have played in the NFL for 100 years, we are system players. Anthony Munoz, Deion Sanders, they're one percenters. 
They don't need no system. They are the system. <laughs> but the rest of us need a system. Patrick Mahomes, who'd he get? Oh, Andy Reid, Eric Bieniemy. Oh, what does Lamar get? Oh, he gets Greg Roman. Mm -hmm. Oh, he gets that running attack. He gets that Baltimore defense and Harbaugh. We all need that. But they're just building blocks. Right now, you just want to ask Lamar, how big's the building? We know it's about 10 stories now, but is it a skyscraper or is it a 15-story building? You hope it's a skyscraper. Sure. You hope it's a skyscraper. Well, that's how bad how he reads defenses and how they yep. put him in a position. And the, yep. Having a Marshall Yonda, having a Ronnie The wide Stanley. receivers got to develop, man. They need that. I said it after the, after the playoff game. They have to get better at being able to play off schedule. When they fall behind, and no one wants to fall behind, but you fall behind 10, 14 points, yes. can you function? And yes. and I don't – I mean, Marquise Brown, I think, is going to be a heck of a player once he's fully healthy. He's a complimentary receiver. But they need another – you know, if they can find another Anquan Bolden type like Joe yeah, Flacco had seven years ago. I wouldn't give up on the kid ago. from Notre Dame. Miles Boykin, yeah. Yeah, if he, if he improves his route run, he yeah. got to be a little quicker in and out of the yeah. routes. He's really slow, and he's not a good 50-50 player. Right. If, you, if, you, if you're that skill set and you don't have blazing speed, you got to be better at 50-50 balls. No question. The but, uh, Ravens as a franchise, 25 years later, we have Vinny, Vinny Testaverde sit here, and I've never had you on, but you go back to the day where there were no Ravens. There was no stadium in Baltimore. Mm -hmm. For what Ray – and Ed, and I'm going to the reunion mm -hmm. down here uh, for the Miami guys, but the, the Ravens have been quite a formidable franchise amidst all the of this. The Baltimore Ravens, and not because you're here, are one of the top seven franchises, top to bottom. But shoddy what he does on a regular basis. The power they have in the front office as far as the transition from Ozzy to the next guy, amazing transition. They pick the players. They work with the players. Their PR team, I think, is the best in football. The Ravens, man, are a monster. They got a real chance. Every year, the Ravens got a chance to win because they have what I call, and we got to wrap this up, institutional talent. Right. And that comes from ownership, coaching, infrastructure. They have all those things in Baltimore. What's your sleep number? 80. 80. All right, there he goes. All he does is catch touchdowns <laughs> and, and sleep comfortably. He's making that up. Chris Carter, the Hall of Famer. My wife's 80. Here. I'm 35. Well, you I rotate. Let those people you gotta know. you got to rotate the meat, man. You can't overcook it. 6.15 <laughs> tomorrow morning, people come in here. I'm, I'm sleeping over there. You know what the situation is. And I'll find my number. Maybe my number's 80. Chris Carter joining us Thanks, here Chris. on Radio Row. All of it brought to you by our friends at Liberty Pure Solutions. 1-800-253-2692. Acleanwater.com. Also, our friends at Raskin Global. Leonard's going to be down here. He gave me lip balm. I got some investments around here somewhere. This is uh, my lip balm. But Raskin Global joining us uh, for sponsorship on Radio Row here at Super Bowl 54. Got to get some Western fries from Royal Farms before it's all over as well. Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Snapchat, Instagram, and streaming live on our Facebook as well as our YouTube WNSTV channel. We are WNST.net, AM 1570 at WNST Towson, Baltimore. And we never stop talking Baltimore sports.